Welcome again to another tutorial on Adobe Lightroom Classic. In this tutorial, we are going to continue in the develop module and we are going to look at white balance. So different light has different color temperature. It can be cool, which is blue, or it can be warm, which is orange. There's a scientific or technical way to set the white balance and then there's a creative way to change the mood of a photo if you want. So right down here on the right in our basics panel, so if you don't have that open, open it up. We have our camera neutral color profile, white balance as shot. So that means it's whatever it is right now, it was out of the camera this way. And I'm gonna have you use auto white balance on the cameras modern cameras auto white balance works great but if i click on this as shot since this is a raw photo i can change or correct the white balance if i really messed it up jpegs you don't have as many options you have a limited option amount of options or ability to correct white balance but with a raw photo you can do any white balance correction that you want and these are some presets that are available in a camera and they're also here auto daylight cloudy different types of light stuff like that I'm gonna keep it as shot the accurate technical scientific way to do this uh, correct your white balance is click on the eyedropper and go over your image looking for a neutral color not pure white but a neutral color somewhere around if if I move my eyedropper over so there's my color picker right my eyedropper and you can see that there's this 5x5 five five grid below it that's sampling a 5x5 five five grid of pixels wherever my eyedropper tool is and below that grid we see a series of numbers RGB that's red green and blue light and we're looking for a neutral color so ideally perfect world and it's almost impossible to get perfect so don't worry about it but R would be 75 G would be 75 B would be 75 that would be pretty good or plus or minus 10 so 65 65 65 70 70 70 85 85 85 something like that you want R G and B all to be almost the same number and somewhere around 75. So if I go somewhere in here, I have 74, 75, 75. That's perfect. I'm going to click on it and it slightly warmed it up, added a little orange. If you look at your keyboard, backslash key, before, after, before, after. And you can see it's a little bit warmer. So that's technically accurate on our white balance. Right below the white picker or the eyedropper, you can see the temp slider to the left. And I'm at 4450 right now, right? To the left is cooler. I can go down to 2000 Kelvin. Cool is way blue. We don't want way blue. Looks like Smurfs, right? All the way to the right, 50,000 Kelvin. It's going to be very warm, very orange. So if we go back, 44. 50 somewhere around there was technically accurate however you are an artist you're a photographer technically accurate may not be what you want all the time you may want to change the mood of a photo you may want it to be a little more cool a little moodier you might want to make it feel a little more warm a little more orange right so I can drag this and kind of change it if I want all right to fit an aesthetic that I'm going for another thing I like to do is if I put my mouse over the little slider up arrow down arrow to do bigger shifts shift up shift down all right I'm gonna go with something like that so right now I warmed it up a little bit so it was at 4450 with the eyedropper and I've gotten it just around 5,000. I decided I wanted to warm it up a little bit. 
And that's white balance.